Hey guys, it's me, Zach DL. I have something to show you today. I got a new third generation iPod Touch back in December because I decided to give my old first generation iPod Touch to my dad. And that was a good investment. He really loved that. So I got myself a new one and I had to choose a case. I ended up getting the in case slider and I thought I, I would do a review now, even though it's been, you know, four months. Uh, no, more than four months. Yeah, four months, actually. So, let's get started. First, we have the iPod, obviously, and it looks different, um, as you can tell. Sorry about the uh, Facebook there, but... Um, but as you can definitely see, it looks different because the the bezel, you cannot see the bezel. Um, uh, it is replaced then with a wide bezel, which I, I like about it. I, I, I really like it, the looks of this case. Um, it's very solid. Um, and it's everything is accessible. Um, as you can see, the volume rockers and the sleep and wake button and also the um, dock connector and the three millimeter headphone jack um, so as far as protection goes with this case um, it's not great um, but um, as you can kind of see there there's just a little bit of protection above the screen. I've dropped it a couple times um, and that um, and as you can see there are no uh, scratches to the, to the uh, screen and, and there's no screen protector that comes with this by the way. Um, and the back as you can see it kind of has a blue layer there that's because of this blue part that disconnects. I'll, I'll get to the, the disconnecting part later. But, um, so there's like an extra layer and it would like rub it off when you scrape it against something. Um, which I think is cool. You have two layers of protection. Um, but as far as frontal protection goes, you, you don't get any. I'd totally recommend getting a screen protector with this. Um, so, um, to the cons now. Um, I don't like the fact that it is extremely hard to get off. And, I mean, this part is cool. Um, because you can disconnect it to dock it as you can see there, so you just have the the whole thing, there's the dock connector, um, but there's that, and then the fact that, you know, you can get scratches on here, I don't like, um, it's very slippery, I really don't like the texture, I would have gone with, you know, leather, um, and another thing is the price. I don't like the fact that I spent 35 bucks on this. Um, it's totally not worth it. I think I think it should be you know 25 bucks at the most, more like more like 15. I mean, this is not worth the money that you pay. Um, I I just think it should be half the price, and that's my thing. I mean, if you're and okay now the bottom line. Um, if you just want a case that looks good on your iPod, that does a good amount of protection, um, get this, but that's only if you're willing to spend 35 bucks. I'd totally recommend getting, you know, a, uh, a leather case or a silicone because, you know, it's just so much better because you get, you get so much more bang for your buck. This was just not worth the, the amount of money I, I, paid for it. Um, so overall I'd give this this um, 
this case about a 3 out of 5 it's pretty disappointing um, but before I got this case I got the uh, the Griffin Elan Graphite case and that was awesome looking and awesome feeling but I just could not get it off at all same with this case um, I probably should I probably should have kept the, uh, the other one. I was I was really kind of pissed off. So that pretty much concludes my review of the in case slider for the second and third generation iPod Touch. Rate and comment, and thanks for watching. See you next time.